everyone, this is Dr. Diana Song Song and we are still continuing our study of mathematics of patterns. We are now on our last topic and that is wallpaper patterns. Let us now go to our last pattern, wallpaper patterns. Wallpaper patterns are patterns that covers the plane and can be mapped into itself by translation in more than one direction. So, these are examples of wallpaper patterns. So for example, also your gift wrapper, they are wallpaper patterns. How to make a wallpaper pattern? Um, you always start with a motif. So, let's say this motif. And then you reflect. Well, you can do different, different things. You can do reflection can do rotation by a certain degree. It's up to you. This is just an example. The point is you always start with a motif. You're, for like in this particular example, we reflect this motif vertically to obtain this. And then using this figure, we rotate it by 120 degrees and 240 degrees to produce this one. And then you now translate this figure. Okay, and you glide the resulting pattern to produce this one. And then, you just continue doing this until you get a pattern. So, these are examples of wallpaper patterns. So, you, start, you started with this motif and then what happened? You reflected it. Um, you have vertical... So from here, you have vertical translation and similarly, you have 120 and 240 degrees rotation. And then from this, you now do glide. Glide. Um, oh, no, no, this is just reflection here, right? You have two directions. Remember, for wallpaper patterns, you can have translations in more than one direction. So, in this direct, you have two directions. This direction and this direction. Wherein, the angle between these two vectors are uh, is 120 degrees. Okay, so for our next example... We have this motif, and then what happened here? You have 120 degree rotation, and then I leave it up. I will leave it up to you to find out how it went from here to here. Okay. Um, this is another example. Everything just started with a motif, okay, and then from here, where is that? Okay, I will leave it as an exercise for you to think about what happened from here to here. Okay, you can make your own wallpaper pattern. Um, I want you to look at this uh, website in order to do this. Okay, who is th this Maurits Cornelis Eschmer? He is a um, graphic artist who... The, who did different um, art artworks using um, patterns in math. So these are examples. Okay. So it's like you have translations, but then as you progress, as you progress from here there, look at that, the bird became fish, and then it looks as if he is just translating right but then the translation vector it becomes smaller and smaller and then it becomes bigger and bigger again so that his art has a sort of not symmetric because these two are not symmetric but yeah anyway so these are also um, some of his famous artwork so it's like a fractal correct but then look at that the patterns are 
this is the bigger version, this is the smaller version. Okay, and this is like our this is our row step, it's like our row step with a fractal. Anyway, so um that concludes our lesson in math as a pattern. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um and okay, you can all do your RAs for this lesson. Thank you for watching my video. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget also to hit the bell button for notification updates. See you on the next video!